Hi everyone, let's make a quick trivia template in PowerPoint for you to use for your next quiz, game, or fun activity. Stick around to see how you can turn those slides into dynamic question types with just the click of a button. With set difficulty levels, automated correct answers, and awarding of stars, this can all be done right inside PowerPoint. To start creating our trivia template, open up a blank PowerPoint slide or just have your title slide ready to go like we have here. To get started, we're going to be making two different layouts. The first is our question slide that has our question and the answer choices on it. And the second layout is going to be the correct answer slide to reveal to your audience which answer was correct. Now this correct answer slide layout is completely optional and especially if you're using class point, almost unnecessary. And so I'm going to show you guys why if you stick around. So to get started, we're going to start with a blank PowerPoint slide to make that question slide template. From here, go ahead and design it as you would like. So I'm going to format our background to match that title slide color. And now we can insert shapes for placeholders for our question and the answer choices. So once I have a placeholder in here, let's go ahead and adjust as we would like. So I'm going to put a border here, make that white and change our fill color. So this is for our question. And now let's just go control D to duplicate and it will be a placeholder for our different answer choices. So we can duplicate that a couple more times here. There we go. So now we have four on our slide. So if you guys are doing multiple choice questions with more than four answer choices, just duplicate this enough times so that it is fills with all of your answer choices. To make sure everything is lined up nice and neat, we can do um, hold, click and shift to select and let's align these one center and do the same for our right side. And for our top and bottom columns here, we can align the middle. Excellent. Now to make this a little bit more exciting, let's add in some graphics. So in our insert tab, we can go to our pictures and I have some saved from my file to match this template. You guys can get free graphics from Canva and a lot of other sites that I have linked up above. So once those are inserted, let's hold down the shift key, make them a little bit smaller. Excellent. And from here we can go ahead and adjust them on our slide as needed. Excellent. Now that it looks exactly how you'd like, the last step is to add our question and our answer choices. So to do this, if you guys need some help, try using AI to generate your questions for you, especially class points, AI feature. That way you never have to leave PowerPoint. So class point is a free PowerPoint add-in that once downloaded and installed, it'll be right here in your PowerPoint ribbon. You guys can download and install, learn more with the link up above. So ClassPoint AI will analyze the information on your slide and generate questions based off of that. So let's go ahead and insert a text box in our question slide here. And let's type in the theme or subject that you want your question to be about. Once that's there, let's go into our presentation mode and you'll see the ClassPoint toolbar down at the bottom with all of its features, including the AI quiz feature. So we can click on that and go ahead and generate a question. ClassPoint AI will then analyze your slide and come up with a question for you. If you like it, you can go ahead, save it as a slide, or you can go ahead and generate another. This one looks okay for us, so we are going to use that. And now we just need to copy and paste our question into our question slide template here. Then we can go ahead and adjust our formatting here to fit. Excellent. And if you guys need to adjust your shape that we made for a question, you can go ahead and do that, make it look nice on your slide. And we'll do the same thing for our answer choices. Excellent. Once everything is pasted in, you guys have your question slide template complete. And next is to add our correct answer slide. So with our class point AI, it tells you the correct answer. So the correct answer is A, India here. So let's just go ahead and duplicate this slide and we can go ahead and delete all of the other answer choices. That way the only the correct answer is left and we can just delete this class point AI slide. So now you guys have the basis of your template done. You can go ahead and control D to duplicate these slides and add as many questions as you need to fill up your quiz. Now, remember that these correct answer slides are optional. So I added them here just to show you guys, but I am going to be using class point to make these slides more interactive and engaging for my audience, including auto scoring. 
So to make this happen, we are going to be using ClassPoint. So remember, you can download and install for free up with the link above, and we're gonna be using ClassPoint's variety of different interactive quiz questions. So since this quiz template is all about multiple choice, we can go ahead and just click on the multiple choice icon on the ClassPoint toolbar. You guys can move the button around and then adjust and customize your question with the side panel here. So we already have four choices here, and we can go ahead and select our correct answer. And now for that auto scoring feature and to get a little bit more data on these questions, we are gonna turn on our quiz mode. The number of stars down here determine the difficulty level, but also correspond to the number of stars your audience will be auto awarded if they get the question correct. So we're gonna leave this one as an easy question. And our last customizable options here is I love setting up some play options when we're doing a quiz template like this. That way it's quick, it's easy, it's fast, and it's fun for our audience. So make sure that you have the question start when you get on the slide. It's minimized right away so that way nobody sees each other's answers and we can auto close after a certain amount of time. This way, I don't have to be near my computer and it can start and stop after that set amount of time. And now that is it. You guys are ready to go with this quiz template. So you can keep adding more questions and adding these interactive quiz questions, but let me go ahead and show you this template in action. So first enter your PowerPoint presentation mode. Again, you'll see the class point toolbar on the bottom and this class code here at the top. So this class code is how your audience is going to join your class so that they can answer your interactive questions. So your audience can use a phone, a laptop, a desktop computer, any sort of web browser and go to classpoint.app, type in this class code. So we have a 58309 here. Join in the class code and add in their name. So once that is set, you'll see their name appear on the screen and you can get started. So when I go into this next slide, because we had that auto start feature, I'm gonna click next and the question will automatically open and minimize and that my participants on their device can see the question. So I can go ahead, click on a answer and click submit. And if I open up this yellow box, I can see those answers appear live on screen. So once the countdown timer ends, the question will automatically close and we can reveal the correct answer. And your audience on their device will see the correct answer and if they got it correct or not, and their stars that they automatically got awarded because of quiz mode. If you wanna check out more data on the questions, you can look at the quiz summary to reveal how fast your audience has submitted their questions and show more information on their quiz responses. So this will get bigger the more questions that you do. And major bonus is you can check on the leaderboard. So this fun competition has a leaderboard attached to it so that you can see both their total stars rank if you're using the same class code over and over again, or the current class rank for just that current class session. So that's all that you guys need to know to create your very own auto scoring quiz template right inside PowerPoint. Try it using this with ClassPoint's other interactive quiz questions for your template and let us know how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, leave us a comment and a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.